Good evening everybody, how are we all doing? It's not dark in the, the Colton household, it is, I've got the curtains closed. <laughs> Bright lights are uh, affecting me today, very uh, light sensitive. Um, but before I get into today's video, don't forget to hit that like button guys, and the subscribe button, and that notification bell if you haven't already. And if you're new to this channel, hi, my name is Kathy, I always forget to introduce myself. Because if I don't rattle off what I need to say, I get brain fart and then I forget everything so I've, I've waited off for doing a video until now because like I said the, the my fibro is playing up a little bit today with light I don't know why I'm doing this with my hands light sensitive and same with the noise um, so I'm very sensitive today and let me know in the comments below guys I do struggle with bright lights sensitivity Oh my lord, what's wrong with me? I can't speak. Same with noise. <sighs> Go right through, yeah. Anyway, I'm not complaining. I'm just asking. Pardon me. Oop. Oh, it's been a hectic day. And it's nearly tea time. What you all having for your tea tonight? I'm thinking a bit potato with a bit of beans, cheese. Mm -mm. Oh, day one of my diet is going really good so far. <laughs> I've had two Slim Fast uh, milkshakes and I've had some of these that help with bloating so I need to take another dose of them I've got them up a TikTok shop I should do a TikTok 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 uh, shopping haul but I can't do that until I've got some proper money because it is pretty expensive across there so yeah that is going on I've only had what I had to eat today I've had a couple of cookies and a bag of crisps that's all i've eaten um usually i'd have been eating a lot more than that just junk food in general i've had two cups of tea today so i've cut down i'm gonna say the heartburn's not been there but it, i can feel it festing in my tummy um i'll just talk to my neighbor well she's a friend my downstairs neighbor and she was talking about some like she goes, I felt a bit burny there and a bit, I went, that's heartburn. She goes, are you sure? Because I felt a bit blood. I went, sometimes when you're being sick and she's pregnant, if you're being sick, you get a bit of bile, you get a bit of blood if you're wrenching all the time. I only know that because that happened to me when I was pregnant with Hannah. Oh, Lord, I got scared. Um, But, yeah, I said, it'll be a bit of heartburn. I needed to go and get the stomach hernia checked out because when my wind, obviously when your food goes down to your stomach, that bit opens. Windpipe, food pipe, what you want to call it, opens up so my stomach goes up. So I'm gonna see if I can get that checked. But the only downfall to that is that drinking that oh, is it lead or whatever it is? It's white stuff. You like, as soon as you drink it, it goes boom. Oh god, just and then it tip you upside down. Um, I don't like that. No, I don't. But I am trying my best. To curb my heating habits, I am trying my best to keep start being healthy. Um, the fact I can't, <laughs> it's the exercising bit I struggle with because if I do a little bit of exercise, maybe for 30 minutes, um, I need a rest and then stay like I did the dog walk was it yesterday, no, the day before Saturday, a bit of energy, and I, I, I went with it. Um, I did a bit of walking and by like two hours later I could not move and <laughs> someday I was like oh I could hardly talk or like you know when you drain do you talk like you're dead inside something like that that's the only way I can like, mm -hmm, like zombie that's how I was but like the woman from the application therapy said, don't overdo it, because if you do overdo it, you're going to be flat out for a few days. I said, yeah, but I'm getting told by the doctors to exercise. And when I, but when, what they don't realise is you exercise and then you're blooming laid up. Um, she did say doctors don't, are not familiar, they not know what fibro, but obviously they don't know it that well. So I'm like getting mixed messages from everybody right now, so... So today, I, I didn't get up till about 11 o'clock and that is not like me at all. I was exhausted. I think it's because I didn't sleep very well in the night and I had to keep getting up because I kept hearing noises, cat fighting and everything outside. Um, and when I did finally get to sleep, it was daylight. 
Oh, oh my lord, I need to get some blackout curtains. Now these, now look behind me, are meant to be blackout curtains. They're not. Got them from B&M. What's with B&M as well? Charging 25, is it 15 quid per panel of curtain? Jesus Christ. <laughs> Anyway, guys, I did a live yesterday, so thank you very much for whoever joined. I did have the odd troll coming along, giving the penny worth, but, you know, I just ignored them. Um, that's what I start, thought about today's video, why I cut out a lot of people out of my life. A majority of them have been family members. Um, and was this weeping rush, just dust it under the carpet. <laughs> but I'm not going to get into too much. These, these I think, the one... Only two people that are in my life right now, I am gutted and I wish them well. I'm not giving the names out. I do wish them well and hopefully in the future, you know, things might change. But at this moment, I don't think it will. I'm gutted and I'm more gutted and upset for because I'm not even going to get into it, to be honest. No, because I'll just get upset over it and I'm not going to get into it. But there's the other lot. I'm not gonna get, like get into it so much, but I cut them out many, many years ago, say in twenty, thirty years ago. Um, that's before I think I know we're only baby. I, to, I just had Thomas, and that after an incident, there was an incident, and I can't get into it because I'm, I'm yeah. It is. It was serious. After that incident, I cut them all off because one talk crap about you too it hurt my kid and kids and, and thomas and three i thought you know you get those type of people that tell a story about someone and then they add their bit on and then a bit more to make it sound juicy to make that person look bad but they look like oh brilliant well yeah but somewhat seriously serious happened and that's the reason why i cut that person off but i cut majority of them off because I don't want to be around negative people. I'm trying my best to get better mentally so I can do what I want to do career-wise. Um, I don't want to be around people that are just going to drain the life out of you, bring you down, and just use you, you know what I mean? Um, and that, I cut, like I said, I cut them off 30 years ago, 20, 30 years ago. Um, but, yeah. And these... Other people, I can't say the names, but um, for <laughs> there's an incident happened with my, one of my kids anyway. So let's just put it that way, and I can't forgive them. I hate them for it. But anyway, I'm not even going to get into that because I know for a fact it'll just mm, they're saying this, they're saying that. But yeah. And it's not fair on my kids even me bringing stuff like that up because it were about a couple of years ago and it happened now. So, yeah. So the reason why I, I cut people out of my life is to save my own dignity, <laughs> my own living happiness. And this, my, I just don't like, I don't like being around people that are like that. And the sooner I move away from this area as well, the better because... Right now, it's draining the life out of me, hearing screeching cars, motorbikes, you name it, people shouting, people fighting. I know you get it anywhere where you're going to live, but not, it's like my head. And then, obviously, the past few days, I've been very irritated with it, and I've lost my plot a little bit. And I had to apologise to my son yesterday, because I snapped at him a few times. I went, I'm sorry, but I can't deal with this bloody noise. I can't deal with it, it's just too much and living around here, it's just not the best of areas. But the shortage of houses and a lot a lot of private owls, owls, uh, private lets, I can't speak, will not allow you to have animals and I can't get rid of my animals just so I can move. I'd have, I'd have to put up with it just so my animals have got somewhere. I can't do that. That's what my CPM once said to me, can't you be on your animals? Do you want me to rehom you? Uh, I can't have my animals in my life for the amount of time we've had them and then just get rid of them like they mean nothing. I'm not that type of person. My animals mean the hell of a lot to me. I'd rather be around them 
than some people. That being said, I'm going to end the video because I'm winding myself up. And I'll catch up with you in the next... Yeah, right, I love you. I'll catch up with you in the next video. Don't forget to comment below your thoughts of what you do. You, have you cut people out of your life? What about your animals? Do you have animals? And someone's told you, well, if you want to move, you have to get rid of them. Eh, no. Anyway, thanks again for watching, guys. Hit the like button, that subscribe button if you haven't already, and the comment in below. Notification bell, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.